Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Mendoza. This is part three of a three-part series on creating an estimate and stability. On part one and two, I showed you how to create the estimate, you know, the items. Then I, I showed you how to add taxes, depreciation, overhead and profit, and coverages. Now on this video, this last one, I'm going to explain about recap summary and total ribbons at the bottom uh, uh, of the estimate. Also, I'm going to show you how to search and replace items that you need to change in your estimate. So uh, let's get to it. And you know what? I want to make sure that my timer is on so I don't go over too long. Uh, OK, so here's the estimate. We left off right here. Um, so let me go to my estimate. This is where we left uh, left off. First of all, on your estimate, you see this ribbon right here? You can move this thing in the way you want. In other words, let's say you wanted coverage first. You can put quality, uh, quality first or you know uh, put coverage. First of all, coverage, you really don't need that, OK? So if you go to the, your views, I, I, I've already explained all this stuff here. I'm actually going to take out the uh, coverage, OK? Um, right now, if you're viewing this and, uh, you, you know, you were trying to uh, make sure that you have overhead and profit uh, and over, you know, overhead and profit, you know, if you click on first, you would have to uh, click on your total cost. OK. Then you see right here where it says. Uh, oh, a total overhead and profit. Now you're going to have that column. You see, that way, you know, because, you know, we've already added the overhead and profit. I explained how to do that and then I changed the taxes and everything but you got to make sure if you want to check to see if you've done that make sure you you know you're on total cost so we're going to go back to the actual cash value because uh, that's usually how this thing's going to print okay um, <clears throat> so i'll show you how to move this stuff around this stuff you can view if you want to see the minimum uh, minimum charges, it's going to show up. You see, but like I like I've said before, keep this as simple and as you can. So the way I like using everything, I view in it. I like to use the room slash partial rooms, and then here I use my high diagram objects with no items. Show depreciation applied to number items and combine related subrooms. So um, so this is very important because uh, if we didn't have this selected, every room that I drew, and even if I didn't have nothing in there, it would show up here with no items in there, but it would take up about that much of the estimate. Now, in this particular uh, estimate, Everything's been selected because we added something to every room. But, uh, you know, so I, I click on the depreciation applied to the number items and combine related subrooms. On this combined, combined, combined related subrooms, what that is is, so look, if you go, let's go to the bottom and let's go to uh, your roof okay you see right there on your roof you see how that is one piece right so it's only taking up this much of, of my estimate if i go in here and um and click combine and i deselect combine related subrooms look what happens now you see how it took broke this part off this part this part this part now you have 
all of this in your estimate and that can be you know uh, complicated to the customer so make sure that you go in here and uh, combine related subrooms okay so now got 15 minutes boy going faster than I thought okay so let's say the inside adjuster or your supervisor called you and said Hector we cannot replace the carpet and then you know I got take out TO stands for take out replace is uh, RPL is replace you know so if you don't know what this stuff is you see it right here where it says short form if you click off a short form now you see it says take out replace so you can do that you can do it that way if you want uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click oh I didn't want to click on that one I wanted to click on show short form okay so now let's say the inch uh, your supervisor says we're not gonna replace the carpet we'll clean it uh, now I could take and replace this all in one soup swoop I'm gonna do it in separate events so that you can see how this thing works okay so first you know I'm gonna double click so that I can copy and paste the uh, the um, item okay so if you give me a second here this thing is, is, uh, takes it a little bit because uh, we're recording and this is a big big estimate when it's a small estimate it's, it's loading everything in its memory okay so give it a second should almost be done <clears throat> okay so I'm gonna hit control A to copy that whole line I'm gonna copy it control C okay now I'm gonna go to my home page in my estimate okay you see this little search engine right here it's called search if you click on search on the description there's a lot of things you can do with this but I'm only going to show you a couple of things and you can play with this so let's hit item you see if I'm going to hit control V right here it says search for what for this okay now if there was carpet and pad and it said excellent or uh, you know any other word than good then it's not going to replace it if I wanted to right now I could delete this and this all with one key but we're not going to do that we're just going to replace the uh, the takeout the TO on every one of these things you see right here and it's throughout this whole estimate so I'm not going to take it out I'm going to replace it with cleaning and then we'll manually remove this carpet pad okay so we'll start with this I selected this but I'm going to add a criteria because I don't want to replace everything that has carpet and pad I want to just replace the one that says take out so I'm going to go to my uh, action and on my action is take out right so it's only going to mess with things that say carpet and pad and good and take out and I'm going to replace it with an other item and I'm going to use my tokens that I have created because it's easy for me to find my stuff because I'm the one that created the stuff. So I'm going to go a floor cover, covering carpet and I'm going to shampoo, right? So right here, floor covering carpet shampoo. I'm going to hit OK. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, you have to double click and add that right there or you know the item that you want you can hit okay now I could go in there find next replace find next or replace or I can just hit replace all and right now you see that little circle it's going through my whole estimate and finding everything now it's just going to replace the takeout now we still got this replace I'm going to show you how to just delete it this time we're not going to replace it with anything we're just going to remove it ok 
straight. I'm showing you different ways of doing this. Like I said, I could have done it all in one soup. Okay, now it's still so, you know, I still got that copy and paste it. But you see on this action, this time I want I want the action of replace. Okay, uh, yeah, replace. So I look for replace. Now, you see right here, you know, this is find. Right here is replace. And, you know, you got to play with this to understand. I, I just know this. Because you see this A, B, C, look, there it is right here, replace. That's why I know what this means. So I'm going to go in here, and what I'm going to go is I'm going to go all the way to the bottom. You see this the delete item? Everywhere it says carpet and pad good, replace is going to delete the item. So I'm going to hit replace all. <clears throat> now it's going through the whole thing and replacing it. <clears throat> okay, so it's almost done. Now, if you notice, in every, so it would have been in the all your bedrooms and the computer room. Now it's going to have carpet, shampoo. Okay, so if you go uh, closet, carpet, shampoo, uh, bath, that's not going to have it there because we cleaned the towel. Then uh, you know, this is a computer room, carpet and bed, and so on. So it did everything it's supposed to. Okay, so we talked about uh, how you could change coverages, you know, through here. I'm going to show you a different way. Eight more minutes, I love it. Okay, so let's go and let's say, you see right now, uh, you know, uh, my dwelling, um, you can't see it here, but if you go to your views and then you click on coverages, you're going to see this thing separate. And, uh, and you really want to make sure you have all your coverages where they're supposed to. I do it all at the end. At the end, I go through this thing and make sure I'm, I'm viewing here at the I'm searching, I'm looking at the covers, and I'm looking at what I'm seeing, like the kitchen, uh, dining, you know. So I'm keeping track of all of that. And then we get down to uh, outbox, out, out buildings, okay? Now, uh, dwelling, and that is dwelling. Okay, so shed, so there's your roof of the shed, uh, there's the shed, <clears throat> and we didn't do no exterior, did we? Yes, we did. Okay, so just for grins, you know, I showed y'all we can go in here and I could select those, right click and, you know, go to properties and change my coverages, right? Another way that you can do this while you're actually doing the estimate, and I don't do it that way, but, you know, uh, let's say you don't want to do it the way I'm doing it here. Another way you could do is, let's say I went to my shed, and <clears throat> this is my rooms for my shed, okay? So if I went in and uh, selected, all the rooms, this one actually just has one room. I created one shed, right? <clears throat> and I looked at the S, everything in there. So here is all the estimates in that one uh, uh, room. Or if it was multiple rooms, I could select multiple rooms. Or I, you know, or I could select all the rooms. I could right click, go to properties. I could go in here. And you see where it says coverages? I, for right now, I'm going to show, uh, change it for contents. And I'm going to hit OK. And I'm just showing you all a bunch of different ways of doing things that way because I still got another six minutes. So, uh, it, you know, it's good to know all this stuff. So let's go to our estimate. Now we're going to go to our shed. And it's going to be the um, 
So it's going to be up here closer to the bottom. So we still dwell in shed. Uh, and right here, see the shed itself. The room part of it, change it to contents. Remember, we change it down there, or I can, I can click here, click here, and you know, click. Hold your shift, uh, shift key. Select the last one. Right click. Go to properties, and I'm going to change it back to the other buildings, and hit OK. And now look, it's going to change it. Okay. Five more minutes. What else? Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's say that you are uh, in the, in the shed, and then you like, wait a second, the shed don't have baseboard. <sighs> Must have been drunk or something. Click on your baseboards right here. You can hit delete or just hit your delete key. Bam. Now that removes it. You can also. So delete. I gotta delete that one. Okay, and then you know, and maybe um, well, let's say it had drywall. Uh, so the roof. So you can get items and delete them. You can also, let's say that you want the baseboard, both of them, and you want to move it to the bottom. You can just click and drag it to the bottom. See, I don't know why. So you can move this stuff around. Okay. Um, so let me see. Let me see. If there's something I haven't talked about here. We got our insert. Okay. Um. Yeah. We've already talked about all this in my other videos. My views. Uh. You can move. Deselect or select items the way you want here. Um. Well, that's all I want to talk to you all about this. And you know, like let's say you want to make a PDF of this, you can either click here on this little icon, hit control or hit control P. You would go in, select what you want. Let's say this time I'm going to add just one of the diagrams. And then, uh, so, you see, uh, so if you hit print, it's going to come up with a dialog. And you can change that PDF, you know, put that PDF where you want. So let's say I went to my. Uh, desktop and I hit save and now it's going to create a PDF or you know to wherever uh, wherever you designate it to it, it'll put it there so now it's creating the PDF again guys if uh, well that's doing that if you ever have uh, um, questions about simbility or exactimate don't hesitate to email me here, here's my email address. So let's see if it finishes the PDF. And let's go to the desktop and see if I see it there. No, I still creating. It's it's a it's a big big. Uh, uh, there it is. You know, it's a big estimate. It has a lot of rooms. So remember, there's that sketch, and there's the estimate. And remember, you can move this stuff around any way you want. Like I said, if you want to email me, got questions, there's my email address. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, hit, hit the like button. Thank you.